if we get the 7,000 photographs out of crop circles, yeah. and you and I sit down and say, which one do you think are man made? Yeah. Put those there. Yeah. Which one do you think not sure? Put those there. Yeah. Which one do you think are not man made? Put those there. Let's talk about those. Yeah. Everyone yeah. wants to talk about man made. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone yeah. wants to talk about what, yeah. what the implications are of the ones that aren't man made. Yeah, but it's also our first uh, uh, circle that we see actually live, and uh, it's fantastic to yeah. uh, to experience. Yes, yeah, it is. It's the same as drawing geometry. If you if you talk about geometry, if you and I have yeah. a conversation about geometry, you go, oh, okay. If you get the compass and the pencil, yeah. and you draw this, yeah. have a deeper understanding. You can't get from conversation. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, and then you feel also what the enormous precision you you need to have. No mistakes. No. You make a mistake, that's finished. Yeah, it's 3D. Yeah. You, can, you, you, well, you cannot fly a drone in the night, right? So, uh, well, maybe you can. But, well, uh, maybe you can, but not not in the 1970s when they first came. 1970s? 1970s when they first started here in England. Yeah, small, simple circles. And is it actually only in the UK that, that this happens? No, worldwide. Worldwide? Yeah, yeah. I've, okay. been, I've been to crop circles in Mexico, Brazil. There's crop circles in Canada. These guys are from yeah. Canada. Yeah. Interesting because we just came arrived this morning and uh, we just drove in Canterbury. It was rainy. Yeah. So we said, let's go to Glastonbury, do Stonehenge on the way. And then we were Googling a little bit on uh, the way. And you found a crop circle? Yeah. Hey, it was from yesterday. Uh, oh, it's, uh, it's just up here in the road. There are some people that say this was meant to happen. Yeah. yeah, yeah well, then those, those ladies. Uh, <laughs> they would say that. that are how, in my how, car. How do you feel, sir, being here? I, I think it's incredible. It's, uh, yeah, I've. I've it's actually something that you don't have words for, right? It's really feeling like a strange art. And, and I actually believe that, uh, that there's a lot of this uh, uh, not man-made. Yeah, me too. And I can imagine that some of it might be man-made yeah. and that people try to copy it. Absolutely. Uh, but, uh, they feel power. Yeah. I typically don't. <laughs> Some people are more sensitive to these things. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes you walk in a crop circle and there's so much power, it will knock you off your socks. Just boom. Nobody's impervious. Some people, I used to take people to crop circles and watch their reactions, you know. And, and, and that was one of the good things about being a tour guide, is that I could see all these different people. So I'd walk into a crop circle and I'd, I'd watch people fall to their knees and cry. I'd watch people get drunk, drunk around like this as if they were on ma magic mushrooms or something. I've watched other people um, get headaches. They get a uh, like, lot of energy and run around and feel really energetic. All different reactions based on the individuals. No rule for everyone the same. But, yeah, but every human being is different. different is that? So, uh, everybody experiences this different. Yeah. And what does it do with you? These days? Yeah. Not much, it's like my normal reality now. It's like going to the shops. Yeah. It's kind of normalized. <laughs> hey, it's not that you have the uh, the um, the curiosity of what, what's new about this one and uh, what else. Okay, so <clears throat> so the geometry um, for me is very interesting. This is ninefold. This is a ninefold design. There's nine of these circles around the outside. Yeah. Nine in the middle and nine here. Yeah. Nine, the division of nine into a circle is um, so, so the more you dive into sacred geometry and number, the more interesting numbers become, not for their value, but for their quality. And the quality of nine is, is the last number yeah. before you go back to one and then a zero, yeah. ten. Yeah. It's, the, it's the completion, it's the final. It's like, so there, there are a number of meanings that you can take from the geometry. And so I'm very interested in that. So nine is an end of an era then? It's, it's, Possibly. Or the beginning of a it's, new one. It's, where's the beginning and where's the end? Yeah. It's a circle. <laughs>